fan banani di melang and welcome to the most awesome show on the planet you teen gospel live you know us as the best team on your screen bringing you nothing but the best when it comes to a round table talk music and games that's right now linda today's topic is very serious can you tell us a little bit about it so today's topic is depression bipolar and any other mental illnesses so we are talking to utamaris from the Psychosocial Wellness Center who will tell us more about this topic. That's right, but that's not all we have for you guys. We've of course got some music and we play a game called Sing Along. Make sure you guys get in touch with us on our socials using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. And also answer today's question of the day, which is, is depression, bipolar, or any other mental illness a medical or spiritual thing? Right now though, it's time for us to start the show the only way we know how and the best way we know how with some music. Enjoy. Cosi sigalela in Africa. Sitala omotula no tando. Cosi sigalela in Africa. much for that beautiful performance now linda today's topic is depression bipolar and any other mental illnesses and today's question of the day is is depression bipolar or any other mental illnesses a medical or spiritual thing let us know what you guys think on our social media pages using the hashtag hashtag tgl on sid so to help us understand today's topic is usis damaris from the psychosocial wellness center welcome to teen gospel live thank you Thank you. So today we're talking about mental illnesses in general. Okay, when we speak of mental health, what do we mean? Um, from my profession, I will say mental health. We regard it as one is emotionally stable or psychologically stable in all aspects of their life. And um, could you quickly explain what depression is? Okay, um, depression from my profession as well it's when we call it the pressure behind the brain whereby someone cannot fully function psychologically and that can affect their cognitive abilities as well mm. okay so depression um affects your cognitive abilities so we know there's depression and we know there's anxiety i don't know from you what is the difference between depression and anxiety and can you have depression and anxiety at the same time Okay, yes, you can have both depression and anxiety at the same time because they are symptoms, they differ. So I'll start with the depression. So from the depression side, the symptoms will be that you will find someone being hopeless, you'll find someone being losing interest in a lot of things that they used to do. You'll find someone having more stresses. So as compared to anxiety, the anxiety it's more on fear, like fear of doing quite a lot of things, fear of being exposed to things that cause the stresses. So you can have both, literally. So since we are on Teen Gospel Live, we are talking to teens. Do you think teens do get depression or it's just an adult problem? No, they do get depression teens. Mm. 
it's mm. not an adult problem. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we know Gusi teens get depression. What would you say are the leading causes of depression in teens? Um, I cannot say in teens, I'll say, but in general, because it doesn't really go with age to say adults, they can experience such symptoms or teens, they can yeah. experience such symptoms. So with a lot of people, but I'll just briefly from the research lately, um, the main cause is social media pressure that I've realized on teens. Mm. A lot of them is the social media pressure, the peer pressure, being too exposed to toxic environment, relationships, it can be parental, it can be with um, friend friends, groups. friends. yes, it can be with friends, it can be at school, it can be everywhere where the environment is toxic. So that can lead them to be prone to depression. So we know that it's, it's not everyone who can, who can um, like see the signs, like the obvious signs, right? Maybe I'm, I'm being ignorant if Oami is my friend and she has certain signs. But mm -hmm. like, what are the biggest signs that we see if someone has um, depression? Like the most obvious signs. Okay, so I will assume as if it's Owami, you know Owami. Mm. Yeah. So you will notice a strange behavior about Owami. For example, you guys are used to, every time when you get to work, maybe you go to the kitchen, get some coffee and all that. But that day she's not doing that. Or you can see that this person is sleepy, maybe they don't get enough sleep. Or maybe the appetite, it's either it has increased or it has decreased. So daily routines are affected, like I said, you lose interest in a lot of things so even your conversations you can see if this person a lot of things she is being too negative on quite a lot of things that she's mm. mentioning mm -hmm. so these are some of the things that you can spot from the person that you know because the symptoms are many and they differ from an individual to an individual so it depends if you know the person wait can i quickly ask something yeah for you sure. you mentioned something about appetite increasing so you're telling me that I can eat more because I'm depressed. Yes, you can, definitely. Okay. 100%. Or eat less. Eat less. Or eat less. Or eat less. Yes. Oh, okay, the okay. eat less part, yeah, it makes sense. Because, they eat more. Yeah. Yes, there are those that they eat more yeah. when, when they are on depressed. Level. Oh, okay, because, um, like, so. Um, from what you've said, I see with the depression can also cause like other disorders. How can you treat e depression so that it doesn't cause now eating disorders and all these other problems? Okay, from mental health perspective, we do recommend therapy. We do recommend that when you see that or when you went to the doctor or you went to a psychologist or counselor, they identified symptoms of uh, depression. So you need to undergo therapy or counseling. So for therapy, I will not dwell much on it because it depends on a professional which kind of modality are they comfortable with yeah. for for treating depression because it's a lot of uh, therapeutic techniques that we use depending on what the therapist is comfortable with or what mm. they think they are more more knowledgeable about mm. okay. so what are the consequences of leaving depression untreated Sure, it's a lot of things because you can see some of them, it drives them to being suicidal. Some, they get um, successful in committing suicide. So okay. some, we end up hospitalizing because we can see that the person, like I said, it affects their cognitive abilities. Yeah. They cannot function anymore. Some of the things they just cannot cope with. So it can lead to hospitalization. It can lead to you being more dependent on medication as well if you don't do therapy so we encourage therapy to avoid you being dependent on medication okay so um you said that we can see the signs of depression in our friends by their eating patterns what can i as a teenager do to help my friend who is depressed okay you can tell them about if you know therapy you can tell them about attending therapy going for counseling it doesn't have to be face to face it can be an anonymous i mean we have mm -hmm. platforms whereby you can be anonymous for you to get help so that your mental health state is kept uh, intact so it's also they can go on YouTube to just Google what is depression because there are a lot of videos that I've seen lately where people are talking about depression. What is it that you can, you can do if you feel like you are depressed or if you feel like you are down or if you feel stressed so that they can take it from there and then they can be able to get help to the relevant professionals. So at times it's not me seeing my friend, right? Mm. At times it can be me. Mm. So what can I personally do if I think I'm depressed? 
you know what i recommend therapy all the time because that is a very very professional help i can say you can talk to your friend your neighbor your whoever but remember that person it's not treating it from a professional yes. expertise so you have to go to a professional seek therapy so that you can be fine i mean it's treated it's very treatable that the depression you can oh. be fine after being in a very depression state Okay, I just want to know, Sister Damaris, how can people get a hold of you if they ever need help or feel like they need someone to talk to? Okay, we do have social media handles. Uh, we do have WhatsApp line that is 24 hours as well. The WhatsApp line is 067-038-4363. And then our website is www.dpwc.co.za. And then Facebook, Damaris Psycho Social Wellness Center. Instagram, dpwc underscore. And then Twitter as well, we have Damaris Psycho Social Wellness Center. Okay, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for helping us to understand that depression is a medical thing and that it can be treated and it can be helped. Make sure you guys answer today's question of the day, which is, is depression, bipolar, or any other mental illnesses a medical or spiritual thing using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID on our social media pages. Sister Mars is available if you guys ever feel like you need someone to talk to. Right now, though, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, my fellow. You're watching your favorite show, It's Teen Gospel Live, where we equip teens to grow in Christ, develop an understanding of His will, and commit their lives to Jesus Christ. Now, guys, today's topic is very serious. We are talking about depression, bipolar, and any other mental illnesses. Right now, though, it's time for us to check out what talent TGR has got. Let's go. <laughs> What do you want? Hi, my name is Mrs. Ramjali and I was born and raised in Minanawi. Hi, my name is Paula Tifana. Um, I, I was born and raised in Boxburg North. I decided when I was um, eight years old to come here in dramatic arts because I really, really, really wanted to be an artist. Uh, I look at my atmosphere and environment where I was living in that I found that uh, like icons like uh, Mendy Ngubani, Nimza Mombata, those people inspired me to go forward with my art and came here in Eastern School of the Arts then I found the passion of being an actress. Usually I just check up in my mind if I do know the scripts but just in case if I don't know I can just write it down on a paper and just um, read it, then then look out, then look away from it, then remember the line from my head. Then if I said it right, then that means I'm okay. Because practice makes perfect. I started here going through my passion about drama. I continue with it and it makes me feel that the art is still alive that it makes me go through the, the challenges that I was facing. And I realized that when I grew up, I want to be an actress. My trouble in the arts is that um, some people are speaking the home languages and I can't. Even though I'm, even though I'm learning how, it's just that it's kind of, to, it's just it's kind of frightening knowing that you're the only one who speaks English but they're speaking their home languages and it's just it just scares me for them to 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 say come on speak your home language man it's not that hard you were born black but when someone says that I get a little tearful because then my pride is kind of in the edge I overcome that with not just someone saying you should try I do. 
And I know when it is necessary for me to actually use my home languages in, in an act. And I'm not afraid to now. Uh, drama makes my life feel very easy because it keeps me away from troubles, from peer pressure, the things that are happening in our world, the scars of society, the society issue, teenage pregnancy, all this stuff. It makes me to see the new world outside. It makes me see the world of art. So drama makes me um, be aware of that be aware of travel or stay away from travel. My advice to them is that this school is the key to your potential. You've always, I mean, having, having all of us teenagers wanted to, un, wanted to unlock our potential, well, this is the school. This is the arts, and I say here, it may sometimes be hard, but during the way, you, you, you will find your path. Um, I can tell them that don't give up. Don't give up on your dream. Don't let people tell you to stop doing that. You should do that. Controlling you with your life. Just continue doing your art because art is there and it is alive. And you can't just leave it leave your dream away you have to do it you have to push more harder put more effort on your art and elevate yourself to the point of i mean a different level now blackie no 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 That was beautiful, guys. We love seeing young, talented people as Teen Gospel Life. Now, if you guys ever want to display your talents to us, make sure you send them to the number on your screen. We love hearing from you guys, and we love seeing what talents you guys have in store for us. Right now, though, it's time for us to check out what you guys are saying on our live chat about today's topic. It's that time of the show where we interact with you guys on our social platforms. And the topic for today is depression, bipolar, and any other mental illness. The question for today is, is bipolar, depression, or any other mental illness a spiritual or medical problem? And this is what you guys had to say. According to Limo, he says, according to Christianity, being bipolar is being possessed by demons. Ululama says, I think it's a chemical imbalance in the body that leads to what appears to be different personalities. We really love hearing from you guys. Keep sending through your comments using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, my friends. So if you've just joined us, you're watching your number one teen Christian magazine show, It's Teen Gospel Live. And today we were talking about depression, bipolar, and other mental illnesses. Right now, though, it's time for us to get into our game. Linda, what are we playing? So today's game is a sing-along. It's quite simple. If you want to join us at home, you can also send in your answers on our social media platforms using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. So it's quite simple. I have a list of artists, I'm going to name the artists and Oami has to sing a song from the artist I have named and vice versa. So because I was describing Guys, the I'm game, nervous. I'm nervous. I'll give the artist. I'm so nervous. Uh, Oami, are you ready? I don't know, but let's go, let's Can go. Can I get 30 seconds please? So the first artist is Usonwa Bukila. Oh, okay. Um, but I can't sing. Are you making any Okay, cool. <laughs> Sharp. Uh, echoes of Mercy. Yo, I pass. <laughs> Divine Solace. Ah, oh, pass. Ha. Last, last, God's Grace. 
come on. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Give me like a hint, Yana. What grace is a hint? Yo. Ah, and your time is up, dog. At least Sorry. I got one. At least, Shim. At least, okay. So I have Linda's artist. Okay, um, let's go. Noted. Ooh, um, okay, next. Okay. We'll come back to notice. Just tell it. Um. Uh, you don't know the word. No, I do. Okay. Wait, wait. You don't know it, five. Wait, okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> Vocal cord. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> next. Okay, that's why you have to know it. Reality 7. Jemocho se ke shi panchi na we shi elako. Yeah. At least I, I got one. As, okay, as your well. time is up. So Linda got one, and I got one. We're both spinning the wheel. But like, but okay, let me spin the wheel, and then you're gonna spin after me, and then we'll do it at the same time. Ish. Whichever it lands on, hopefully it lands on. But like marshmallows. But we'll do it at the same time. You don't know these answers. I do know. You don't know the songs. You know the answers, but, but not the songs. Like, Ooh. Like. Can I Linda? Hopefully, yours is going to be lemon juice, Linda. Okay. Marshmallows. Is it lemon juice? I'm praying. I am like, my fingers are crossed for lemon juice. Marshmallow, peanut butter, <laughs> lemon, lemon juice. juice. <laughs> Let's go, Lindo. I think, I so, think lemon juice is my favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna count this down in three, two, one, go. Ah, 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 ah. and I win because we had to decide the winner. You can continue with your dry biscuits. And I had your drink, but it's cool. Right now it's time for us to head over. Oh, oh. Right now it's time for us to head over to live chat. It's that part of the show where we get to interact on our social platforms. The topic for today is depression, bipolar, or any other mental illness. And the question is pretty simple. Is bipolar, depression, or any other mental illness a spiritual issue or a medical issue? And this is what you guys had to say. Usbusiso said, bipolar is a disorder of sudden changes of the person's mood from happy or excitement to sad or angry with anger just for sweet nothing or just out of the blue. Ufigile said, the environment, generic or chemistry might be the one of the contributing factors, but medically they are not certain of the exact cause. Uveli said, depression could be a medical thing, but all things that are in the physical have an echo in the spiritual. Keep on sending in your comments. Don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Unfortunately, yeah, we have reached the end of what was an informative and enlightening show. If you guys have any questions for our guests, make sure you post them on our social media platforms using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. We'd like to say thank you to our guests for coming through and making this show so informative and so litty. Right now, it's time for us to love and leave you. Owami, Lindo, goodbye.
福。